All right, here we are. Special episode. Little Trouble and Big Absalom with GM Jesse, my nephew. Awesome. It's your first time doing a GM session in a long time, Jesse. Long Whoa. time. So we'll see how that goes. We'll I think you do a great shot. job. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is our one shot. It's probably going to take about two, maybe three sessions, but definitely at least two. And this will be part one or episode one. And we got everybody. We got all the rogues in the house here. It's a reference to, well, I'll leave that. <clears throat> but anyway, Jess, go ahead and I'll give the reins over to you. You run the show. You have everybody introduce themselves and all that good stuff. So there you go. Take over. All right. Hey, guys. This is Jesse. And I am going to be GM in the game tonight. It's going to be Little Trouble and Big Absalom. It's a free adventure path that uh, I think everyone's going to have fun playing. And uh, now I'm going to introduce everybody. Uh, let's start with Kyle. Who are you playing tonight? Hello there, friends. I am playing Grimmer, the kobold, uh, black uh, scaled kobold uh, sorcerer, which is a, a, a new thing for me. Uh, I've never really messed with the uh, magic based classes, uh, either playing 5th edition or Pathfinder. So this is going to be my, my first experience maiming a magical class. Maining, I should say. So we're going to give it a fair go. Uh, yeah, she's kind of a, a, a kind of a creepy individual get a get a bright glowing red eyes and we'll see what kind of mischief I can cause with acid splash along the way happy to be here and let's get it going all right good stuff all right Fritz who are you playing I'm gonna play quiz roll the rogue kobold female all that good stuff and man, she's got quite an interesting background she knows a little bit about law and stuff like that uh, as well as the roguish sides of things. And you know, she should be interesting for me to play. I haven't played many times, but, you know, I'll have fun with this. Another rogue. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All righty. And last but not least, Rachel, who are you playing? I will be playing Rin, a musically and magically talented green-colored kobold with a passion for historical texts that are definitely not children's books. He's self-taught in the field of martial arts and is fashionably dressed, similar to his favorite historical character. And uh, his muse is the great dragon under the sea. All right. Okay, sounds good. So, whenever you're ready, I will go over the background here. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Okay, so, for generations, the Hukkah kobolds have lived beneath the city known as Absalom, scratching out a hard scrabble existence by scavenging from the earth packed ruins of ancient buried buildings. In all that time, the Hook Claws have never conquered or wiped out by more powerful foes, which makes them truly prestigious by Cobalt standards. Unfortunately, this prestige has never resulted in wealth or comfort. For as long as the Hook Claws have existed, they have lived in relative austerity among meager warrens and have simmered with envy at more famous and well-off kobolds, such as the Sewer Dragon. Yet the smell of change is in the air. Just recently, a party of Hookclaw miners accidentally broke into an underground room that was stuffed full of treasures and luxuries, most of them in far better condition than the time-rotted relics that the Hookclaws typically own. Firm advocates of looking gift horses in the mouth. However, the Hook Laws have rounded up their greatest heroes, most eager volunteers, and most violent misanthropes to explore the mysterious area. 
Once the chamber has been secured and deemed safe, the hook claws can cart off the treasure and live the opulent life they have so long deserved. That's your background. And uh, so we're going to start it out here with the three of you are being led down a tunnel. An excitement buzzes in the air. Throughout the hook claw warren, kobolds drop their work and peer out from tunnels to watch you pass. You have been chosen for a most important mission. Tunnel Master Micnick is anticipating your arrival. As you enter the chamber, the Tunnel Master gives a cue to the nearby workers who pry away wooden boards and chunks of stone from the narrow mouth of a tunnel. The workers who dig this passage sealed it up when they saw it. It has remained closed and waiting for you till now. From where you stand, you can see rich fabric on hangers, exquisite vases, wooden crates, and unknown prizes inside. Just a fraction of this wealth could enable the hook claws to live in comfort they have needed in generations. But hook claws are smart, and they know when things are too good to be true. That's where you come in. Secure the chamber, Tunnel Master McNick Box. Once you ensure the treasure trove is safe, the hook claws can claim its valuables. Standard hook claw hazard pay. First pick of anything you find, up to what you can carry. Be careful. I lead you to this tunnel entrance. What do you guys do? Head for the goods. Grimnir's gonna gonna slowly look around, sort of scampering off. She she doesn't really like the fact that this this tunnel master sort of gave her what she would see as a direct order. She kind of scoffs a little bit and shimmies on past and skitters into the chamber and takes a look around, see what she can see. I immediately pull away from the group and I'm going right to the shadows. Is there any, is there, is it a shadowy area here or do I have to go for cover or something? But I'm, I want to get hidden. I want to just like watch everything as, as the other kobolds do their thing. I want to kind of hide and assess the situation and take a look around. What do I see? What's, what's in here? Anything shiny? Okay. I'm going to load the map here. Just got to figure out how to move your tokens. Right click on the map and choose activate. I'll bring everybody to your new map. Oh, what treasures is this? Books. Boxes. What happens? Spells, possibly. Do we know each other pretty well? Or are we just kind of like strangers? I don't... You've been thrown together. You really haven't introduced yourselves to each other yet. <clears throat> Second, I'm getting hail. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I slink Figure into out the what shadows. You guys want to do. I'm gonna watch from the shadows. I'm gonna watch you two. Boy, this is a big room. It's just because you're small. <laughs> mm, that is, that's a good one. Looks like it's well lit. We have dark vision though. So, cobalt basement. Ah, 
seems like there's a bed and some research stuff. <sighs> it's just me, or does anybody else keep picking up the, the feeling that this is some sort of mage type of room? There's a lot of boxes, a lot of open books and study places here. It could be. We see many things here. Let me uh, get the flavor text for you. The familiar smell of earth and musty neglect wafts across your nostrils as you scuttle through the dirt tunnel and into the chamber. From here, you can see past the curtains of rich fabric and giant wooden crates. To the rest of the room, stacks of books and other luxury items are haphazardly crammed onto massive wooden shelves, preserved from mold despite their clear abandonment. Immense piles of furniture, rich with intricate carvings and plush cushions, have been jammed up against the walls. Chests with glittering locks lie on the floor coated with dust. Piles, casks, sacks, and barrels form a looming barricade across the western end of the room, which blocks the rest of the chamber view. Wow. What uh, exploration actions are you guys doing? I'll need your marching order. Stealth, of course. And I'll linger in the where in the back, away from the group, as necessary. Not too far, just so I can stay in the shadows. Now, is this room well lit? Or is this just our dark vision that we see? Because it looks lit. Yeah, you guys have dark vision. All kobolds do, I believe. Wow. So there's probably not much shadows. How about you guys? What, what's your marching order? Okay. I'll go scout and I'll go behind the first person through the door, I guess. So I'll be number two position. So the fighter leads, I guess? Oh, wait a minute. Shit's the bard. That's, that's the bard. Yeah, you know, since we don't really, uh, since we're not very familiar with each other, Rin would just take the lead. Oh, books? What are these? Just pulling them off the shelves and kind of wandering a little bit ahead what, of you guys. What's your uh, exploration action? Search? Recall knowledge. <laughs> of hmm. course. Can I go with Bardic? <laughs> sure. It's like a general knowledge. Gotcha. Alright. What is that? Investigate? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I can use it's the correct term. It's investigate. Investigate. Alright, if you guys want to move your tokens around to where you want to look around, I'll tell you what's going on. Upon walking into the room, would I see that big book on that table? Yes. That's exactly where I would head to. Okay. That book looks as, important. Must be historically it, accurate. <laughs> as you make your way over there, give me a uh, blind perception check. Careful, green over, one. Over in this direction, I don't know if you can see that. Up in northwest. You see, yeah, you see a bed, and from under the bed is glowing a green hue. Ooh. 
Wait, does anybody else see that? From under the bed! Chris. It's green. Chris, Much like what are you myself. Doing? Be careful, green one, as she steps, or he steps towards the table, this bard. Uh, I'm clean, I'm slinking along the, the sides of the walls, kind of using cover. But when I hear her or him say that, I look over in that direction. Can I see this glow? Yep, it's pretty obvious. What color is it? Green. Green? What is that? Do you see it? And I'll look back, look back towards the the black gotcha. kobold. Grimner? Grimner. What you doing? What is this? Glowing. Must investigate. Let's I, take a look. I'm drawing my gavel. Bells are at the ready. Okay, it's still yeah, glowing. Can... Nothing seems to be changing. We'll go back to Rin. What's your next action? I'm going to try to read that book. <laughs> Who cares about the green glow? I told everybody, but but this book, it looks interesting. Okay, Maybe. from what you, you take a look at it, um, what languages do you speak and read? Um, I have common, draconic, gnomish, and undercommon, but in the background, it kind of, I get the sense that he does not uh, read it. <laughs> so more or less he's looking for pictures <laughs> gotcha so I, from he can tell is it has pictures of tasty treats and different ways of cooking different meats and pastries and cookies mm, a cookbook. it's a cookbook I, I, I wonder if these are the preferred treats of the the sea dragon <laughs> it's all it's all connected <laughs> the dragons quizrel what you up to can i should i make a stealth roll to see how well i i'm hiding yep give me a blind stealth Noted. And while they're preoccupied by that book, I want to kind of move from cover to cover if I can and get closer to that glow. What do I see? Okay, as you get closer, you start to hear a hum, like, mm. and the, the glow is kind of flickering. As can far I, as you can tell, nothing seems to be changing. Can I make a recall knowledge on this? See if I recognize the glow or the hum? Give me a blind nature roll. Okay. You're almost positive there's a dragon hiding underneath the bed. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna. I'll pull back away from that and draw out my crossbow. I see if I can be about here, and I'll look towards the others <clears throat> and say to them, whispering, "There's a dragon ahead. I hear them. I see it. I recognize it." Get out of the way, you fools! Hide! Alright, Grimner, what are you doing? Ah, a dragon. A cousin, perhaps. Must go say hi! Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna walk cobalt. over. <laughs> we'll walk over toward the bed. See if I can <clears throat> approach the bed here. 
All right, once you get there, I want everybody to stop, and we are going to roll initiative. Yeah. I forgot we're kobolds. We kind of like dragons. Is this is this the... Would it, what I recognize this is something to do with the sewer dragon, I think you called it? Now, as far as you can tell, there there's a giant dragon hanging out underneath that bed. So it's not the sewer dragon? You don't know. Okay. Okay. That is abysmal. All right, coming up from underneath the bed, you see these three foot tall buzzing beetles up here. Beetles. I'm using stealth for my. Uh... Gotcha. That's nice dice you got. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe you should have hit blind. <laughs> eh, it's okay. The right. first one. That's all right. All right. First up, this guy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, <clears throat> All right, I got them all, all selected. How do I select just one? Left click uh, anywhere. You should be able to hit begin turn. Well, begin oh, encounter yeah. at the bottom of the encounter tracker, and it should automatically select it. Gotcha. I thought they were a dragon. I thought it was a dragon. Oh well. Alright. And he's not too happy about you coming over here. So he's going to attack you with his mandibles. Look out, Grimner! Look out, Grimner! What's your AC? My armor class is an abysmal 15. Well, you are lucky. He goes wide with his teeth. This, I will roast you alive. And this guy is going to let out a flash. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to need a fortitude check from just Grimner. Seventeen. Okay. The beetle flashes in front of you with a bright light, but you were able to blink your eyes just in time. There's no effect. Alright. Give me one sec. I'll just hiss right back at it. <clears throat> I guess I misread what that was. Bunch well, of that you bombed that roll. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, you misinterpreted the uh, the shuffling noises for like a low dragon's growl. Like <laughs> they they sound the same, totally. <laughs> yeah, and we do like our dragon, so 
We got a little over eager there. <laughs> Bobby, is that you? Get out from under the bed. <laughs> Cousin Jim, is that? Oh, crap. No, it ain't Jim. <laughs> Someone forgot to put their stash of cheese rolls away. And now there's a horde of <laughs> little beetles. <laughs> We're not a pack of goblins, okay? I thought we had better... <laughs> yeah. Goblin. We had better manners than that. I thought we did too, but apparently somebody did put their cheese wedge away. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Sorry about that. All right, the second one, the buzz over here. Are you doing them all on one initiative count? Oh, you know what? Yeah. I am cheating. <laughs> That's okay. Just... All right, Quiz, you're up. <clears throat> Hit the next arrow on the initiative tracker. It's the one single arrow. There you go. Okay. Well, I should have my crossbow out. Yeah, my crossbow. So I'll take a... They're obviously attacking us. Let's see which one. Yeah, the, the, they, they just tried to flash me. Mm -hmm. You gotta take me to dinner first. I'm gonna aim for one of the other ones because I don't want to get have shoot at someone with cover. So, oops. Let me get that out of here. Let's see how far away he is. 45 feet. I want to shoot this one. 45 feet with my crossbow. <clears throat> Range come in 120. Oh, that's plenty. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get my crossbow out and I'm going to level a shot and that one over here so I'll make my attack roll I made it blind actually it didn't roll at all I have to assign ammunition when you go to your inventory and you scroll down to your bolts or whatever, right click and hit worn one, one handed, and then they should, because they have to be worn for ammunition. Seventeen crossbow shot. Which one were you shooting at? That one. Uh, yeah, that's the one. All right, that's a hit. My bad on the roll. I uh, didn't think that it would and roll anything. You can add your sneak attack damage to that. Ooh. So D8 plus a D6. Let me roll that separate. And 11 points. So... You, how do you kill it? Right click on the token and, well, you could just delete it. Just click on it and delete it. Hit the delete button. Bunk. The crossbow bolt just sunk right through its head. Yes. Instant kill. All right, I guess that takes all my actions. Took one to, I had it out, but I, uh, I guess I just shoot it. 
What's the rate of fire of that thing? What do you have, the light crossbow? No, it's a, it's a crossbow. Load speed of one, I believe. Nice. Yeah. So you have to take an action to load it. So one to fire, and then one to load, and then I get another action? Yep. Yep. Alright, I'll fire at the other one then. That'll be my s second attack. Eight. Nope. Hit the bedpost. Okay. That's it. Curses. Ready? This guy is dead. Right click him on right click on him in the tracker. If he's dead, you can Oh wait a minute. He's not dead. He already went. Yeah. Alright, so we'll just go next. Rin, you're up. I would like to grab something off the table. Anything. A light object that I can punt. And I'd like to create a, a diversion using a trick. Okay. And my result is a 26. That is a hit. Or was it a success? Or a critical uh, success? You know what? It said oh. right, you privately rolled, so I didn't see oh. it. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Oh, no. Such, I can reveal reveal to everyone. Um, also, I'm sending the created diversion, because that's initially what I did, but a trick is like a sub action for that, because you can do something auditory, a gesture, or a trick. So okay, I was... figured by grabbing an item, like a small item off the table, I could kick it in an opposite direction. That's my intentions. Yeah. What was your uh, roll? Um, I made it public, but it was 26 in total. All right, you got a critical on it. Yes. Uh, so that means I become hidden to hmm. each creature whose perception DC is less than or equal to the result. So you are and hidden to all of them. And it lasts until the end of my turn, or until I do something except step, or using hide or sneak. So gotcha. they'll need a flat check to be able to hit her. I think it's in a ten or greater or something. Eleven. She's only ten hidden. or greater to hit her. Ten or greater. Yep. They know. They know he's in that square, but they don't. You know, it's not exactly where, so he's hard to hit. Oh, you know, when I click on the hidden, it says DC 11 flat check. Okay. Okay, and then 11 it is then. Okay. All right, that was one action. What's your other actions? Okay. Well, if you include me grabbing the item off the, uh, off the table. That's two actions then. Yep, yeah, so two actions. One more. Not much you can do. You're hidden. I'll take that step. <laughs> and then that's it. This one is very cool. Grimner, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to cast Acid Splash on the one directly in front of me. Okay. I believe that is an area. Might be able to hit the other one, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. That'll be a 20 to hit. Okay, that's a regular hit. Well, it, it does 1d6 plus 1 splash damage, so the other guy's going to take 1 damage. Okay. So, he's going to take 4. The one directly in front of him is going to take 4, and the other guy's going to take 1. Yep. Yes. 
And then I'm gonna try to headbutt the one in front of me. Filthy creatures. You are no dragons. 14 to hit. Almost. Good enough. Good enough, alright. Good enough. I'm done. Ready. Back up the quiz. What are you doing? Well, no longer hidden. That's pretty obvious. Uh... Load the crossbow. One action. And I'm going to fire at the other one that was next to the one. Well, the one I shot at before, the one over here. This one? Okay. It's probably got cover, so its armor class will probably be two better. And... Yeah, I'm going to get light cover. All right, and I'm just going to take my shot. First attack. Twenty-six. Okay, that is a regular hit because of the cover. I got him. Eight points. No you just sent back. a bolt right through its thorax. Yes. It is dead. That's how you do it. And, okay, that's uh, two actions, right? One to load, one to fire. Yep. My third action is going to... Well, I'll set my crossbow down, and I'm going to... That's free. And then I'll pull up my, my uh, gavel. Time to lay down the law. So I'm done. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Two left. This guy. He's gonna move to the table to about here. And it's gonna let out a flash. I want fortitude saves from everybody. One and one for me. They should have been blind. I'm sorry. Oh, Alright. I can re-roll if you like. I'll let you keep it. Fortitude? Yeah. Quizzeral and Rin, you both are dazzled. I'll give yourself the dazzled condition. Grimnir, you're good. Once again, you were able to close your red eyes and avoid a flash. The true dragon always prevailed. Third action that's going to retreat. Rin, it's your turn. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Alrighty. Um,. So everything is concealed to us. We need to make DC mm -hmm. five flat checks. Yeah, anytime we want to target. Um. <laughs> Silly kobolds. Oh boy. Um. I guess. I guess I will be making that flat check. Um. Uh, Ren's little plan. You know, still not used to working with others, uh, especially, you know, I don't know them. What's what's their fighting style like? Um, 
He is going to use a telekinetic projectile. So here's my flat check before I cast it, I guess. What are you using to throw at him? Some from the table? Uh, yeah. Anything that's that's lightweight. Uh, there's Whether it's like an inkwell feet. or... Yeah. That'll there be is. messy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to choose that one. <laughs> all right. Don't miss. You might hit Grimner. <laughs> that's all right. He's already black, so... Yeah, he might like it. Yeah, war paint. <laughs> Bane my scale. <laughs> Make you look cooler. <laughs> war paint. Oh, I I did that blind, but uh, you can tell me what I rolled. Um, okay, what's your modifier? Um, it's supposed to be just a flat check, because everything's concealed since I'm dazzled. So this oh, is just yes. to see if I hit. Otherwise, I'll be doing the this one. All right, you're good to go. You see him. Ah, oh, yes. Now I can roll my attack. Seventeen, 17 is a hit. Ah. <laughs> so the inkwell just kind of lifts up and just flings towards. I'm targeting this one, by the way. Um. So that's nine damage. All right, you obliterated it. It is dead. Is there ink everywhere, or was it there, dried up? <laughs> it, it splashed everywhere. I have artistic <laughs> flair. <laughs> All right, you have uh, one action left, right? Yes. By the way, so I guess since that is a spell, I don't have my ocarina out. So if we could just rewind and my first action would have been to take that out and then play it. I totally forgot about that because I wasn't holding it. He was flipping through the book. All right. So it. that is the end of my turn. He, I whipped out my ocarina and did the little <laughs> tune. I gotcha. <laughs> uh, that's your, that's your yeah. instrument, the ocarina? Yes. Yep. <laughs> that's cool. The very... Manly, yep. dragon, <laughs> dragony ocarina. <laughs> Grim, you are up. Cast acid splash on the one that's left. Roll and spell attack. Oop, that was the wrong one. My bad. That's okay. I will hero point that. Sounds well, good. Twenty to hit. That is a hit. Roll damage. Did I miss that? Did we get hero points? Yeah, everybody starts with one. Yay! Okay. Hang on, I've got to relink it here so I can click on damage. I'm gonna take five points of acid damage on that little bugger. All right, tell me how you killed the last one. Yay! You just see. A green glow emanate from Grimner's hands as, as as she then hurls this this green stickly magic and explodes on this creature and just sort of eats it alive. So there's nothing left of the creature but an outline on the stone floor. Good job. All right, guys. The dazzled condition goes away after one minute. So once you guys have, once one minute has gone by, you can take it off. What are you doing? I'm going to walk back over here and check on the other one. How are your wounds? Is anybody hurt? I'm not wounded, but who said that? Me. <laughs> Who's me? I don't, even, I don't even think I know your names. I'm Grimdeer. Right. What color are you? Black. Oh, I'm a cousin turquoise. of. <laughs> I'm a cousin of dragons. That's I've heard that before. I can trace my descent back to dragons. I'm a cousin of dragons. Uh, well, maybe we've got similar cousins. 
But you can call me Rin. Quiet down, you two. Why are you so loud? And I what have are my you so red. I have my gavel up. <laughs> you see this red, white horned uh, kobold step out of the shadows. We must be quiet and sneak through here. We can't be so loud. There was a dragon there. I tell you, there was. Oh, Not these dragons. Charles and Bob. <laughs> We just watch, watch out for the sewer dragon. He's here somewhere. I know he is. Now keep quiet. And then I'm going to go back into the shadows. Oh. Well, now where do you go? <laughs> oh, my name is Quizrow, by the way. And I know much about Turn law. There. And sneakiness. And then I'll disappear back into the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> can I make a stealth roll to see if I can hide behind some boxes? <laughs> Sure, give me a blind stealth. Uh, and I disappear. At least in my mind. <laughs> He's an odd lizard folk, that one. Um, after after um, she sneaks back into the shadows, can I do recall knowledge on the beetles? Sure thing. And Jesse, you can... I don't know if you have already, but you can, on the tracker, click End Combat. Thank you. What'd you roll? Uh, oh, I made it okay. blind. All right, I got it. Um, these are definitely flash beetles. That's about all you can tell about them. You've heard of them. Well, these these things don't look like a dragon to me. I think you were mistaken. These, these here are flash beetles. Flash beetles. Ugh. It would be too soon if I've never seen them again and... Kind of turns away in disgust. Ugh. Filthy. Grimner looks equally disgusted. I'm going to sneak over to the Just bed. Not, not good for your eyes, either. Uh, Rin's still kind of rubbing his eyes. <laughs> that is why you must blink. And while, he, while they're talking... The final spots out. While they're talking to each other about these beetles, I'm going to stealthily hop over the table and the boxes as carefully as I can and get close to the bed and, and peer around that area of the room. Any sign of a dragon? No dragons. I'll look under the bed. Under the bed, you can see where it looks like the beetles were living. Ah. There's chewed up crumbs of food and excrement all over the place. Mm. I don't know if I want to poke around that mess. Well, you poke into the stink. Yeah, I'll poke into the stink. Terrible smell. I use my gavel. I'll poke around. Maybe there's something shiny. Give me a blind perception. <laughs> okay, you don't find anything. Do we see Quizrel poking around? Give me a perception check. Well, let me give you a... Nope, he's gone. <laughs> Grimner, you do see him. He's poking underneath that green bed up there. You uh, can hear him muttering to himself about coins or something. Not she, sure. she, please. He. <laughs> <laughs> She's over there. Come, come, come. I'm going to start heading that way. I guess we have to continue looking around. What have you found, Chinese? Possibly. Okay, Fritz. When you get a chance, what are you doing? Uh, there's a table over there on the other side of the bed. I'm going to check that out. 
I'm no longer stealthing at this point. I'm just looking around with my gavel in my hand. What's on this table? Gotcha. All right. From there, I got some flavor text for you. Uh -oh. This plain hallway is relatively clear junk, allowing further passage, passage into the back reaches of the tomb. Two rooms lie to the west, their doors wedged open with swells of fungus and huge clusters clusters of mushrooms can be seen. They're on the west wall? The clusters? Yeah. Yep. They're, I see them. They're green. They got the doors wedged open from years of swelling of moisture. Is this bot pile of boxes? Can I, from where I am, can I see the other kobolds? Can I see them, or are they out of sight? Uh, you can see Grimner, but Rin is out of sight. Yeah. Okay. Over here, doors. I'll look towards Grimner. Ah, doors! Come, Rin. Come, 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 come. Dragons await. Uh, as I'm walking through. I'm going to try to, like, keep my eyes open for things. Do I find anything that looks to be valuable? Any, like, shinies, sparklies, or shimmeries? <laughs> or all the all above? Right. From what you see from the crates and things, it looks like grain, potatoes dried out, a lot of, like dried foods and oats different type of like stored dried rations of food that might be useful for your clan and the northeast passage that was heading back towards where our clan is right yep that's where you entered and the the is was it tunnel master yeah. Tunnel Master Micnic. Uh, are they on the other side of that? So, like, if I yeah. pass them some crates or like pass the word, would they, would they be like, "Oh, yes, thank you. We'll send somebody over to pick that up," or, or is that like, would Rin consider that a lost cause because they're not around? Well, do you want to check it out? The crates. See if it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, make your way over to the to the entrance. All right, as she's doing that, Grimner, what are you doing? He. Kyle, are you there? Obviously, uh, she's kicking around one of the carcasses. <laughs> Preoccupied. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to Rin. Rin, you can see that it looks like the tunnel has been sealed back up. They, they locked trapped you us. In. They trapped us on here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's definitely nailed shut. Oh. Wow. All right, Rin, Rin forgets all about the crates and just rushes um, to kind of meet up with everybody. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Like, wait. Just yeet, baby, yeet. <laughs> Let me, can I just, I cannot. Because <laughs> there's yeah, a wall. Thank you. No problem. All right, Grimner, there what you doing? I'm All right, just stop. moving there. You're going to stop right here. Right in this square. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I'm just sort of looking around, it, and as I'm going, I'm, I'm just sort of taking a meander around, see if I can find any shinies or any clue about who was in here before. Like, what were the inhabitants of this place before? Like, were they human? Were they cobalt? Were they... Swamp Dragon, you know, like... Gotcha. Who was right, in before, here before? Before we do that, 
I want you to give me either a thievery or an athletics check, whatever's better. You just stepped on a very unstable pile of boxes. Was that athletics or theory? Athletics. Okay. As you stand on top of the boxes, they collapse. Oh boy. There goes stealth. I call you clumsy. And you take two points of damage. From the fall. Ah. What ha so what happened? The boxes just all tumbled down, and yeah, once he climbed up on top of the boxes, they oh. collapsed on him. Oh, okay. Not very sturdy boxes. Not impressed. Uh, Ren's gonna rush over and try to give him a hand as they get up. You, you, you see her just, just sort of throwing bits and pieces around haphazardly, chucking <laughs> bits and pieces away, sort of muttering about she's a descendant of dragons, and, and, and dragons are dignified, too dignified for this fate, and, you, you know, <laughs> she's rambling at this point. Well, Ren kind of responds, well, I'm sure dragons wouldn't just lock a bunch of their heroes, their finest, <laughs> down here. Did you see the entryway? They boarded it shut! This is the test! They have to be sure that we're ready for Dragonhood! <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you see this in a positive light, but I don't. I'll rush over to that where I am right there on the map, and I'll pull out my crossbow and load it. I'm watching to the south, muttering to myself. Gotcha. And what All are right. you muttering about? There goes our Grimier, stealth. You guys are too loud. Saying... Oh, go ahead. You guys are too loud. Grimier, go ahead. <laughs> were you uh, wanting to make a roll for something before? To see if it was uh, cobalt in nature or something? Who are you talking to? Grimner. Yeah, like I wanted to make a check to see if I could determine what the inhabitants of this place was before we got here. Okay, give me a blind society check. Oh, this gonna be bad. You are 100% positive this is the lair of a high-powered lich. Oh! No questions, no questions asked. This is the lich's lair. Lich. Nasty. This is my funny. That explains the beetles. Let's keep going. Yes, let's go. Alrighty. Rin avoids the boxes completely. I'm just going to trash <laughs> through the remains of them at this point. I don't care. I've already <laughs> fell on them. All right. At this point, I want everybody to stop. And from inside the mold, something moves. You're not quite sure what it was, but out of the the mold shoots a spore, and it's headed. Let's see. Rin, give me a number between one and six. Three. I swear I clicked public, and it's still blind. How about just two? <laughs> two. <laughs> two? All right. It's coming at you. Aw, oh, darn. <laughs> Should have sticked with the three because it'd come at me. 
Uh, I should have made that. Right. Okay, what's your AC? 18. Alright, you are hit. Um, let me... Okay, never mind. Alright, if you have something, go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Okay. Kind of I know I have a reaction, but I don't remember what it was for. Alright, you take... Four points of bludgeoning damage as a spore just slams into your left arm. Ah, oh, stay back! Ah, oh, something hit me! Spores! Something in the mold! And down oh. here, you hear a door slam. like the looks of this. Did you hear that door slam? I did. Doors. People. Things crawling about. We must be being watched. And... Hmm. Can I rush down to the south here along the boxes? Like to right here? Yep. And... Give me a stealth roll. Yep. Give me another stealth. I'm going to use this box as to cover me. Uh, stealth roll. Here we go. Just in case. Do I see anything near the doors? Which door made Give me the... A blind... Which door Give me made... a blind perception. Which it's door? this one. Okay. Okay, you definitely saw what looked like a walking mushroom. And it closed the door behind itself. Hmm. It almost looked like it was part of the mold. A living plant, a living fungus. Right. I'll stealth down to here. I'll make another stealth check to sneak. As Quizrel's moving, Ren just takes where she was before. <laughs> Hiding <laughs> almost behind <laughs> Grimnir. Grimnir just looks around. Why you move, friend? Ah, look at my arm! I see no more. I don't want to get hot. I don't want to get hit again. And the door is shut, right? Yeah. Everyone, move along the the boxes. Be quiet. Something's beyond that door. I saw it. A fungus. It walks. If you guys are going to try to be stealthy, I'm going to need stealth rolls for both of you. I probably gave myself away because they're they're pretty far off. So I'll make another stealth roll to hide again. <laughs> I'm just walking right. down at this point. Yeah. Rogues. You've left me behind. <laughs> Come. Come quickly. With, Come. with uh, his little feet, Rin uh, runs after you. <laughs> okay, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Lynn, what are you gonna do? I would like to take a a closer look at the the mold, and I'd like to use bardic knowledge. <laughs> okay, give me a blind roll. You moving over to it? Uh, yeah, to get a better look. Um, definitely not touching it. Okay. 
Okay, it's mold. Mold. Not sure what type, but it's mold. This this looks like mold to me. Don't breathe it in. Don't breathe it in. It's bad for your health. You want to live a long life? Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Give me a blind perception check, Rin. The door is definitely moving. At this point, everybody, we're going to all initiative here. Am I using stealth again? Yeah, well, you can. Yeah, that's what I'm doing anyway, so regardless if I can be seen. All right, Quiz, you're up. You see the door starting to open. So I saw this go through the door and disappear, and now it's coming back into the chamber? That's what it looks like. Ah. If you right-click... You can see it, but it's going to have cover. If you right-click on the token of the creature... Uh, no, how would you do that? Uh, you can't. You need a macro for that. Never mind. All right, so... Since I'm going first... Does he, he looks threatening, right? Does he look mean and nasty? Yeah. I'll remain hidden. I'm going to ready an action, which is to fire. If it comes at me aggressively or comes at the others, obviously to attack, I'm going to fire. So the trigger is if he attacks, basically. And if me or the others, I'm going to fire my crossbow. So I'm going to ready an action. So you're going to move yourself in initiative order? No. <laughs> I'm going to keep my initiative. Just when it comes through. I gotcha. It takes, it takes two of my actions to ready an action. All I have to do is state the trigger and what the action is. And basically it allows me to take that action as soon as that trigger occurs out of sequence. So if it comes in there during his turn and attacks, I get to interrupt it and fire. That's my action. Gotcha. All right, Rin, you're up. And I saw the door moving, yes? So, we did. Uh, I don't like the looks through. of this. The door is open, Rin. right? Yeah. Partially. Yeah, because I could see the token. Yep. Um, Rin backs up 15 feet until their back is basically against the crates. And uh, I'm not sure what those... What are these circular items? Are they like bowls and cups? Yep. Looks like a table. Right, I'm going to try to fling one using a uh, telekinetic projectile. Gotcha. Well, your spell target. Attack, he's going to have cover. Uh, 16 in total. Smashes on the wall. <laughs> Miss. All right, that's the end of my turn. 
ね。Alright, give me a number between one and six, Grimner. Six. Bring it on, Temmy. Alright. Quiz roll. You see one of those projectiles coming at you from range. What's your AC? Me? Yeah. 18. If I have cover, it'll be、uh, 20. Say I'm using stealth to hide behind the boxes. That's up to you to decide. Gotcha. All right, it missed. It's going to try it again. You're on public, by the way. I could see the roll. No. Nope. Second shot. Misses. And for its last action, moves out of the way. He's gone. I can't see him now. I still can. Well, if he attacked, I would enter. That would be a trigger. I should have been able to fire before he attacked. Yep. I'm going to give you a, a shot there. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay. So. As he did that, my crossbow fires. Let me set it to public. s h o o t wide. Yep. And it disappears. Hey, Grimner, you're up. I'm gonna run up and bash the door open. Beware the mold! <laughs> That's the sorcerer for you. I'm a dragon, I don't fear mold. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. Basically, for mechanics, Jess, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to move up and just open the door so that way they can gain clear side angles here. Okay, you open the door. I think it is already open, actually. It、mm -hmm. is open. So you can move in if you want. I'm just going to move up to the door. It's one、gotcha. action. And I'm going to. Oh my. I'm gonna cast fear. It needs to make a will saving throw, DC 17. Okay, you hit the regular.、Yeah. Uh, that's a fear effect. So, since it did the will save, which is a, you know, DC 17 will. If it failed, it's frightened two. Critical、yep. failure is frightened three, and it's and fleeing, fleeing for, one, for round. one round. And don't forget about、um, resistances and immunities. Yeah. Check the creature's resistances and weaknesses and immunities. Okay. It is frightened too. That's all I can do. <laughs> That's good. You put on a scary face. Yeah, like you just see this, this head pop in, and a, a bright <laughs> purple a bright purple hue sort of goes over the face, and you see just the, this grotesquely gnarled illusion with this loud guttural scream, very high pitched. It was shattered glass. As, as this thing just is, yeah.、Yes. As the fear effect goes off. She looks pleased by the result. Okay. Round two. It would be your turn.、Uh, that's all for me. q u i z r o l what are you going to do? Let me 
make a stealth roll to sneak. I want to move here, so let me make a stealth roll. Where's my stealth? There it is. So there's my new stealth roll. I snuck, keeping into the boxes. Uh, I still don't see it, though. Uh, second action will be to uh, reload the crossbow. The third action, well, I can't really do anything. Uh, Grimner, what do you see? Get out of the way! Two questions. Bongeth! Now hold my shot. Okay. Rin, you're up. Um, are there more small uh, light objects surrounding me that I could use project telekinetic projectile again? Yeah, I'm going to say there's plenty around you. It's actually just out of range. I thought it was still good, but it moved. Do you see it? I do. I don't see it. It must be in the south. Um, you know, as an action, I'll say I'll let um, I'll let her know. Uh, Quiz Quizrel, I'll let her know. It's moved south of the door. You might not see it. We might have to advance if uh, if we want to take it on. So as my second action, I'll run up. And you know, just to be cautious. Um... Oh, never mind. That's two actions. <laughs> Don't forget about your song. Yeah. But then I'd have to refocus, so... No, I think uh, you don't have to because you're a bard. You might want to look that up. I think he can continually cast it. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to look that up because... Um, like, I know it does have the infinity symbol, but that's like most can It's listed as cantrip, but it's under focus spell. It's yeah. really weird. I think what they call it is a focus cantrip, which means you can keep casting it. All right, well, then I might as well cast it as my last action. Don't you need to spend focus mm -hmm. points? You'll have to let everyone... No, they don't use focus points. They have a yeah. focus cantrip. Focus yeah, cantrips have... are different. Yeah, I have a focus spell, and then I have a focus cantrip. And the focus spell... Um, is counter performance and that's a reaction which is also kind of like how do i use that <laughs> um all right so this is a 60 foot emanation it's that big everybody falls under it <laughs> the whole dungeon does <laughs> so go ahead and take the inspire courage that's in the chat and that is my turn Listen to my song! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Grim, there's okay. just tapping her foot, vibing along. <laughs> Swing okay, to the Grimner. rhythm. <laughs> As you're looking into the room, you see the, the fungus creature start to shake. And then all of a sudden it goes... And this 15-foot cloud of spores just emanates from it great so grimner and rin i need you to make fortitude saves blind Rin, did you uh, make your roll? You need to make a fortitude. Uh, 
You can make it far. I think she's there. I got it. I am. Right. I think I, we're I right on the it. Inspired Courage, by the way. I was looking it up. Mm -hmm. it, they've only labeled it as a focus spell because it's class specific. Okay, you guys somehow were able to hold your little nostrils shut just in time and you're okay Ugh, smells like rotten eggs Ugh. for his last attack it's gonna swipe at you what's your AC 15 it cracks you six points of damage and that is its turn you're up Grimner okay I'm gonna throw an acid splash in there just because I can Ready? spell attack it That's a nat 20 for a 28. Nice. All right. Roll the critical. Nice, nice, nice. Seven points of acid damage. Is it doubled? It takes, on a critical oh. success, the target also takes one persistent acid damage. Orange. Yep, on one persistent acid damage. Shouldn't that overall damage be doubled? Shouldn't that be 14 on a crit? On a critical success, yeah. the target also takes one persistent damage. Doesn't say anything's doubled. Yeah, so I guess it's just the... the just seven. the base 1d6, then. Mm -hmm. it takes... And then it's got persistent damage. How yeah. do you do that on a creature? Every turn it'll take one persistent damage. Is there a status effect for it? Yes, you just drag it onto the creature. It's in the chat. Persistent damage. Should be there. Oh, yeah, like if you scroll up to my spell description, it should have a little red thing that said persistent damage. Or just, or just make a note. It'll take one every turn. I got it. Unless it makes a certain roll. All right, nice. And then I'm going to move back. I just got walloped. And that's all for me. Back to you, Quiz. It needs to make a DC 15 flat check to recover from persistent damage. So when his turn comes up at the end of it, after it takes damage, roll that to see if it can end. Get rid of the persistent damage. Me? Yep, it's your turn. I can't see him. Surely he'll come through the door. I'll wait here. And I'll read in my action. Again, I'll fire as soon as it makes an appearance through the door. That's it. Okay. You're up, Rin. And I should have surprise on that if he can't see me. Surprise attack. Rin's just thinking to himself, why hasn't Quizrel moved forward? Why is it, why are we falling back? Can they even see me? You compare compare my stealth roll to their persistent or their yeah, persistent. Perception DCs. Can they see me? My DC is fifteen. Well, that's 14. for me to know and you to find out. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, if well, do uh, I don't happen to see her, 
then I will also question where is Rin and why do I see random bolts fly out from the shadows? Well, she would not. <laughs> if she looks around, does she actually no. see me? No? He, he, you do not see him at all. Excellent. I mean, you could look for him if you want. Her. <laughs> Her. You could look for her. Nah, maybe, maybe after battle. We need to have a conversation. Uh, so I will continue the effects of Inspire Courage and uh, recast that. Okay. So everybody, I guess, can just keep it in. Because I'm pretty sure it only lasts one round. Yeah, one round. Um, hmm. And Red's going to take a look. getting in the way. <laughs> no, it says expired. So what do I do? Left click it and it'll put inspired oh. courage on again? Uh, I think you can just right click and then um, drag a new one over. And so I see it right there. And when Rin approaches the door, like, the entire time he was kind of moving forward, he knew it was there. But now that he's close, he's like almost shocked by it. And he's just going to punch forward like, ah, <laughs> and I'll just do an unarmed strike <laughs> Gotcha. with the hand not holding my musical instrument. <laughs> just an FYI. Uh, all right. 18 in total. Alright, you punch him. <laughs> <laughs> the soft, bushy mushroom top of its head. And uh, that's four it's, points of damage. It's like if you punched a teddy bear and you <laughs> hit it and it just goes... <laughs> Good, I have delicate hands. Oh yeah, that's also something about my, my background. So Rin not only just strikes it, but he's also like almost like uh he, he got scared and instantly went into his martial pose and went because <laughs> he's self-taught in martial arts Grimner is over there dying <laughs> laughing in the corner right now just just dying laughing <laughs> and and that That's... is the end of my turn <laughs> all right rin give yourself a hero point <laughs> thanks <laughs> that, was good. that was a good one Alrighty. It is now time for the fungus. Let's see how it retaliates against that. <laughs> Alright. It is gonna go again. Make a fortitude save. Just you, Rin. Gotcha. You are now poisoned. I have poisoned. resistance to poison. Just okay. one. So if I took poison dam when I take poison damage. Oh, because you're a greenie. I'm a greenie, yes. So you do not take damage then. Because this only does one damage. Oh. <laughs> wow. So you are that's uh I cough it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a terrible taste. Green goblin kobold thingy. And then it swings at you. Ouch. You're 18 DC? Or mm -hmm. AC? You just took some damage. Eight points. I'm As feeling weak. No. And that is its turn. Grimner. I'm going to cast shield on myself. Okay. One action. 
So I'll run over to the door. And I'm going to try to pull... Pull... Ren back. Back away from the door. Alright, I'll say half movement to drag her. Alright, so we're gonna move down here. Yeah, Rin doesn't fight it and just goes with it. <laughs> it's gonna be it for me. Gotcha. Alright, Quinn's you're up. Still hiding in the boxes. Yeah, nobody can see me. I'm just watching this unfold. I'm waiting for it to come through the door, but they keep rushing up to the door. As far uh, as you guys know, he left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to escape. There's no way back. Oh, he's not here, though. Where could he have gone? A secret door, possibly. She. He's taking all the treasures for himself. I know it. She, she, she. Oh, sorry. She. <laughs> You're right. I'll wait. I'll ready my action. I'm going to ready my action again. If it comes to the door, I'm going to shoot it with surprise. That's it. Duke. Rin, you're up. Thank you for getting me out of there. Yeah. It's just us two now, he says. <laughs> <clears throat> and he actually retreats further. Recasted Inspired Courage. I feel like I should make that a toggleable thing in my <laughs> my hot bar. Um, and I'm going to just uh, use recall knowledge on the this fungus type creature. So let me just change it to blind. All right, make me a blind nature check. Okay, it will be a blind bardic, because I have a zero in nature in foreign bardic. Yay, general knowledge. From your readings of this creature, it definitely has dragon-like qualities. And when you say readings, you mean from your picture yeah. book experience. Yeah, your coloring <laughs> books. <laughs> hmm. Dragon-like qualities. Hmm. Ah, but that is the end of my turn. It's gonna move here, and it's gonna puff. I could shoot at it. As soon as it made its appearance through the door, I shot at it, like right there. That's when I blast it. Go ahead, make your shot. And if it didn't see me, if it doesn't know I'm there, its perception DC is higher than my stealth. Uh, I will get sneak attack. Yeah, and it's flat-footed to me, basically. So let me make that. Flat-footed, minus two, acing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's my public roll. <laughs> so I let fly from the shadow. Oh. Hero point it. All right, go I'm ahead. waiting two rounds to do this. I'm going to use my hero point to do this. So here it is again. Twenty-four against its flat-footed D AC. Okay, you got a regular hit. Damn. But you're gonna roll your sneak attack damage. Okay. I think I have to roll. Oops, wrong one. I think I have Just to roll. toggle your sneak attack and roll it. 
just toggle my flat-footed thing. Will that do it? Yeah, you know, you could do that before the roll. Enable, enable abilities that require flat-footed target. Yep. Let's see if it adds the D6. It did. Oh, it's blind. What'd I get? Ten. Plus the D6? Yep. E8 plus one. Plus one D6. You got ten. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. All right. 15 foot around them. That's everybody. Make a fortitude save. If I fail, I would very much like to use a hero point. All right, go ahead. There we go. I re-rolled using the hero point. Well, Rin, you failed twice. But <laughs> Go figure. But, but you have resistance to poison. So you don't take any damage. Okay, good. My fear Rin, was critically failing. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you didn't. Quizzerel and Grim, you guys passed your saves. You held your nose. It is now Grimner's turn. Would my, would my attack roll have been a critical if I scored a 24? You needed a Just say yes or no. Oh, all right. 25. Because I, I, I don't know if it... I think it counted my inspiration on the attack roll. I guess it did. It probably did because I got the thing on. Sorry, Kyle. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. I'm just reading. Yeah, I am going to cast Bane, so it needs to make a DC 17 will save. Alright, it got. Alright, so a regular fail. All right, the target, the fail, the will save, take a negative one status penalty on their attack rolls as long as they are in the area. Once per turn, standing in the turn, starting the turn after you cast Bane, you can use a single action, which has to concentrate trace to increase the emanation. So you got, you basically got to drag the spell effect over to the creature. It has been Bane. Just drag it on his token. Guys, and then I'm gonna punch it. <laughs> 1t2. You nailed it. Roll damage. Three points of bludgeoning. <laughs> Once again, your fist just goes. <laughs> it's gonna be hit for me. <laughs> All right, Quiz, you're up. Load. You're no longer hidden. Right, so I don't have that surprise. Big fungus creature. I'm gonna spend an action loading my crossbow, and then I'm gonna fire. Twang. 18. Hit. Roll damage. Eleven. Oh no! Right. Minus, minus. It's counting d6 for that. So let me see what it rolled for the d6. Uh, so minus five. So six points of damage. Six. Piercing. Okay. Hang on. Just hard to click on it because it's got something over top of it. Six points, you said? Mm-hmm. Six piercing. That is enough. Yes. How do you kill this creature? Well, waiting patiently amongst the boxes and shadows, I've waited so patiently. The others kept getting in the way, and I can't see the creature. I kept quiet and waited. It came out. I shot it. 
It rushed out, exploded, did all kinds of craziness, and I shot it again. I sunk it right between its eyes. <laughs> that last shot, and it just, because it's so squishy, the arrow, the bolt actually went through its skull, disappeared into the beyond. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, you know what? What? Something happens. Oh, no. Let me put the monster back on. Oh, no. Almost forgot. He explodes or something, right? Big spore bomb. He does. Oh, no. Poof. Poof. Just put a little X on the square. We know where he is. Ooh. He's right here. Yeah. Just count it from there. All right. It's a 30 foot emanation. So that's everybody. Mm hmm. Everyone takes 12 points of damage from the fungus creature exploding. Everything withers and falls to the ground as it blows up. Does it heal? Why does it say healing? I hope it didn't heal. Yeah, that's weird. Let me read it again. Wait, I think I know this creature. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it just healed. So it's not dead. And we took the damage? No, you didn't take damage. All right, that was healing. Heal. That was healing. Sorry. Should have read. <laughs> so my bolt disappeared and it, it didn't fall. It didn't even react. And all of a sudden, it puffs back to life, and it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> yep. It's That's still cool. under my Bane effect, though. Yes. It is. So, you want to link that spell so I can put it on? Thank you. Make sure you give yourself your slot back. Alright. Was that your first action quiz? That was... I don't know if I had to reload. I probably did, so that'd be my second action. So, I got one more action. Curses! It should be dead! I'll, uh... I'm going to clamor over the boxes. And use a stealth check. I'm going to try and hide again. So here's my other stealth check to see if I can hide. Actually, it's a dive for cover action. I don't think I could actually move to doing that. So I'd probably be right here. And I rolled a 20. Do you want me to roll that again? Blind. Yeah, me, make it blind, please. Yeah. All right, so there's my proper stealth check to dive for cover. Hide more boxes. Gotcha. And I'm done. And you All can, right, you're done? Yeah, and you can take a break in the session anytime you want. We're at 841. Yeah. Whatever you want. All right, Rin, go ahead. All right, I'm back uh, farther away. <sighs> I'm not doing too hot. Uh, I'm going to... Oh boy. 
I'll just cast Inspire Courage once again. This is not some quiet battle. This is uh, bold music being played. <laughs> little little <laughs> tunes here and there. And I honestly don't know the the purpose of this one spell, <laughs> but I kind of want to do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe later. Um, instead. I will hmm. I is there anything around me that I could use for telekinetic projectile? Yep, you still have stuff near you. Okay. Cuz I'm trying to think of items on me, but I don't want to just throw a candle, you know. There's like cups <laughs> and bowls on that table above your head there, so you could use them whip. Can I reach them from here? I'm going to stay your spell, Ken. Okay. And I'll cast that as well. Spell attack. Oh, I got a nat 20. So, so 28 right, in total. Roll your crit. Um, so I'll just have to roll damage and then double it, because there's no crit damage. So 20 damage in total. Alright, how do you do this? Well, this what are the objects that's up there? <laughs> what what did bowl. I end up grabbing? A bowl. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> a bowl, uh, you know, the hollow side first flies right at the uh, puff, not the puff, but the the mushroom guy or whatever it is, and just smacks it right in the face and just suffocates it. <laughs> it just goes and shrinks up and withers into a little pile of mushrooms on the floor. Underneath the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it seems to be dead now. And I'll come out of the boxes. My head will pop up over the boxes. You see a big red face appear. A little help you were. A little help. I shot it a whole bunch of times. Is the, what, that what those about? little sticks flying about were? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. All right. It's at this time we're going to take a break. Okay. Go do what you need to. Awesome. Okay. Great stuff, Jesse. I will be right back. Thanks. All right, folks, we're going to take a little intermission. We're going to go to our admission screen as we continue this adventure. Big Trouble in Little Absalom. Be back shortly. Alright, we're back again in part two for the session of part one. We'll see how far we get tonight. There'll definitely be a part two to this episode, but we'll post and do on a later date. But uh, here we go. We're going to pick up where we left off after fighting this spore-like fungus creature. Uh, Jesse, go ahead and pick up. Alright, guys. Next? Tell me what you're going to do. You just defeated this fungus guy. And, uh, yeah, I got hero points too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> huh? Huh? So, huh? What would you like to do? <laughs> do we get hero points? See what you're trying to do. <laughs> no hero points? Uh, no. You can't bribe me. <laughs> you're a uh, well, Rin is going to take out his healer's tools and begin patching up his own wounds. I can't go okay. down like this. Not here. Not in front of these people, anyways. I'll come out of the boxes and reveal myself. Oh, 
I'll sort of move over as you're tending to your wounds. Ah! I, if not too much trouble, can I have some assistance as well? Of course, once, once I'm done. And I'll pull my heal healing tools out of my backpack. Watch these two from a distance. All right, give me some medicine checks. See how good they do. Ooh, can I hero point that? <laughs> you better. You gonna kill <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd rather not <laughs> injure myself to death. <laughs> All right. Reroll. Oh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> one away from causing damage. Oh, you take damage uh, for that. That didn't work. That's critical failure damage. Almost. 1d8. Target takes 1d8 damage. No, it's not a critical fail. She got an 8. She rolled a, she rolled a 7. Oh, plus 3. Well, wait a minute. Didn't she roll a natural one? I did, and I, I used a hero point. Yeah. So you should see my old result and then my new oh, result. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. So yeah, yep. that's why I hero pointed it. <laughs> <laughs> these these dark tools, ah, they're just so confusing. Your I had everything fu. neatly. <laughs> my kung fu kung fu doesn't work you. well with healing. <laughs> <laughs> Too many bandages. Grim, would you prefer to do this yourself, or you want me to do it? And he, you can and try. He, a he asks you this right after you see him fail. <laughs> Alright, your wounds don't look so bad. Let's see if uh, let's see if this tape will adhere, or these bandages will stick and stop that bleeding. Nope. Man, my rolls. Wow. Quiz, you want to give it a shot? Yeah, but sh they're immune. Not to you. No, they're immune, period. Yeah, we got to wait an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'll step forward with my pack of bandages. And I can help if you need it. And, uh... Yeah. So, Rin, you're, you're immune, but what about you, Blackie? She scored a 10, so no, I'm immune. Yeah, so. I failed both. Well, if you were more patient, perhaps I could help more. She <sighs> takes a deep sigh and throws her pack on her bag. Not a scratch on her. <laughs> and then drifts off into the boxes again to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, quiz! Don't! No. no, come back! Okay, okay. We need you. Of course you obviously, do. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, traveling forward here, uh, I don't feel comfortable leading anymore because I was at the front of the pack last time. Uh, maybe, maybe this is something you can do. Still from the shadows, of course, but... Oh, of course. Well, you wait here, and I'll look through the door. Yes, yes, scout ahead. Yeah, I'll take a look while they're prepping themselves. And peer through that door that's open. What do I see beyond there? In the back of the room, you see what looks like to be an old icebox. You can see slowly melting blocks of ice which is kind of peculiar for such a dusty area. Box of ice? See that fungus seems to be emanating from this box. Whereabouts is the box? Okay. Hmm. The fungus seems to be coming from this? Yep. 
I don't know if I want to be in here no more. <laughs> Open the box. Open the box. <laughs> Take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll step carefully through the chamber and go up to the box and uh, carefully check it out. Look inside. Hey, give, me a, give me a nature check. Blind. Appear inside. What do I see? It's mold. Mold. It's just overcome with mold in here. You can see what looks like a packaged up meal. But it's long since gone bad. And you're pretty sure this is what's causing all the mold. So it's old food? Yeah. Nothing else of interest in here. Just an old empty room with a box, with a lunchbox in it, basically. Yep. While she's looking and and uh, kind of just investigating that room, uh, can I cast Detect Magic? Sure. Alright. And I'd actually like to change my exploration activity to do that very thing. Detect Magic. Okay. And I'll continue to investigate the room. Uh, probably take some time, but I'll make another perception check if you'll allow it, allow it to look around the, the chamber walls in particular. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Any kind of little indications of a portal anywhere or something out of the ordinary? Colored blocks? Uh, anything hidden? Give me uh, a blind perception check. And Rin... You are sensing magic. You're getting the pain. Quizzerel, hmm. you spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour searching this room. You find nothing. Yeah. Strange room, full of fungus. I say we keep out of there. Keep the door shut. Slam. And I'll close the door behind me. We should look okay. to the south, I think. Grimmer, That's where I'm what heading. Are you doing? Yeah. I'm going to head down to the south, and I'm going to cast Detect Magic as well. Okay, you definitely are sensing some kind of magic ores. I'm going to take a listen at this door. And while he's doing that... Boy. While he's doing that, I'm going to look for any kind of traps or anything. Is, there, is, you, is there a lock right. on this door? No. no. I think you can see. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to investigate the door itself, looking for anything unusual. All right, both of you just give me perception checks. Blind. And Rin, what are you doing? Oh boy, uh, Rin's trying to stay out of trouble. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're just going to um, take a look at these crates over here and just kind of peek through the cracks and if they're open, lift up the lids just to take a look around. Sure. All right. Grim, you don't hear anything behind the door? Quiz? This is an ordinary door that could easily be opened. Excellent. And Rin, you find more of the same. It's like dried foods, um, clothing, fabrics, that kind of stuff. Hmm, what is all of this doing here? What purpose does it serve? And, um... Anything that looks edible, like right off the shelf 
Uh, he'll he'll just grab and take a nibble. Okay, <clears throat> you grab what looks like old pasta, and you start mm, to chew crunchy. on it. it is very <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> All this noise. Quiet down back here. I'm I'm gonna open the door once I, I take offer, a listen. I offer a handful of uncooked pasta. Mmm, try. And I scarf it down. And as the <laughs> as the door, I hear it creaking open where Grimner is. I said, "Wait, don't open it yet." And I said, "If we wait a little bit before we go any further, I'll give you some proper healing. I am trained in it." I will shut that door. Slam. <laughs> so if we wait like, I don't know, 20 more minutes, it should be okay to wrap up some wounds here. I could try on these two. In the meantime, I'd like to investigate the boxes over in this section, see if there's anything there that's of any note that's usable. While you guys are waiting, I want everybody to give me a blind perception check. Oops. Here you go, Jess. <clears throat> Quiz. You're the only one that hears this. You hear. Have you come to play oh, with no. me? Oh no. No. And that's all you hear. Did you hear that? There's something there beyond the boxes. It speaks to us. I hear it. This is coming from the east, the other side of the boxes? It's coming from the door. Oh. Good thing the door's shut. Now you've given us away. What is your name again? Grim Grimnar. I shall Grimnar. call you I shall call you Grim. Because you are grim indeed. At least I'm helpful. <laughs> and as we wait all I'll heal them up. I'll take the treat wounds action on them both. Unless something comes through that door. Wow. You'd make a good phasmophobia ghost with that voice, I'll tell you that. So can I make my roll? My treat wounds? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'll do Which it. Which DC you taking? Fifteen or twenty? Well, let me see if she's an expert. I don't think so. I doubt it. Not she's just one. trained. She is trained. Not an expert in anything. <sighs> So, DC 15, I'll try Grimner first. Okay, let's see if I can do a good job at this. Public. Medicine. Hold still. Standing there like a statue. And I'm wrapping and putting on some ointments. 18, yes. 2d8. Okay, one, two, here you go. Four, four points. points. <laughs> wow. So you got four hit points, and for another ten minutes I'll go over to Rin, you say? Yes. Please, I wasn't very successful uh, tending to my own. I guess it's it's hard under pressure. Yes, yes, yes. Hold still. Here we go. Oh, ten. I failed, but no damage. I'm sorry. I did as much as I could. Here's a little extra ointment. You can you can put it on your tongue, and it'll make you feel better. Mm, it 
tingles. It does. Cinnamon. It's like cinnamon. Nutella. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> All right. So that failed. Well, I appreciate you trying. Hey. Maybe again. We'll try later. When I'm up to it. And I'll back out down towards the door. Being mindful of Rin, I know she's, or he's, looking pretty bad. <sighs> okay, we're good to go. All right. We'll open Let's that go. door once more. Alrighty. Got my crossbow at the ready and loaded. I'll have my ocarina in hand. <laughs> I have my spells at my command as I step inside. Okay. Everyone stop. This gigantic hallway opens into another chamber. Crates and furniture are stacked. Wait a minute, I'm reading the round one. No, no. No, you're all right, you're all right. Stacked against the walls, atop which sit dusty games, an old, ugly duck toy, and an enormous taxidermic alligator is crammed beneath a game table. I call dibs. Ah. <laughs> and at this point, I want everybody to roll initiative. Uh, what is that big yellow thing? Is that a giant rubber ducky? <laughs> it's a giant, ugly rubber ducky. I call dibs on the alligator. Oh. <sighs> Perception, because I'm not using stealth. My foundry is acting up. Okay. In a second. Oh, I got a fifth ten. Yeah, my internet just kicked off. Give me a second. I can reset it. I see three nasty looking dogs. I have initiative 10. Ren still has inspiration for some reason. Uh, preparation for... Yes. <laughs> yeah, cast that again. That's on attack rolls too, right? Yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> That's your ocarina playing. <laughs> That's a very human voice. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Jesse, I see three giant hounds or something. Yep. Give me a second. Taxidermy. And this is where the voices were coming from, Grimner? Yes. So something's in here. Must the dog speak? Let us be cautious. Something wants to play. Perhaps we will. Decaffeinated condition. Cards green. Boundaries loading.
Yeah, everything's quiet. There's no music or anything right now. Oh, yeah, now that you mention it. <laughs> Should start up when you log back in. Yep. I hope. Yeah, my internet dies around this time every night. <sighs> Blame the neighbors. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Maybe that is what it is. Who's your Who's your service provider? Verizon. I have Xfinity. Xfinity is better. I've had it. Yeah. I knew that the guys that came to install it the one day they were. I didn't realize it, but the one guy was a D and D player. And he was in my game room that I had set up in the other room, and that's where they were hooking the, hooking the the wires and stuff. And he was looking around at my miniatures and everything. And that's when he revealed, "Oh, I play Five E all the time. We have a group and everything." And we both stood there talking the hobby, trying to convince his partner, oh, "You should play. You should play role playing games. They're awesome." You know? <laughs> Interesting situation. Of course, I was talking about Pathfinder. Oh, you got to play that instead. It's a better game. <coughs> so that was fun. Uh, got to put ourselves back in the thing. Are we going to reroll initiative? I suspect. Yeah, just go ahead and reroll it because I lost everything. Okay. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Ooh. Ah, 26. Way better. I got a natural 20. <clears throat> yes. It's a shame it was wasted on initiative, but hey, you get to... Oh. At least you had it. Yeah, what happened? Oh, how, no. did, how did I drop what happened? 15? I don't know. What is happening? I'm trying to roll for the monsters. I don't know. Is that changing things? Yeah, it's bumping him down in initiative. He had a 26. It's weird. It's like those weren't our actual rolls. Ah, the music's back. Can I give you a 26 yeah you right click on anybody you want and choose update did this happen to anyone else uh, uh, no no okay all righty So what do we see? <clears throat> okay, to the south of you, you see three very patchy, tacky-looking dogs that look like they have been sewn together. You swear you can almost see stuffing coming out of their wounds. But they look vicious. And they're they're alive. They are alive. Oh boy. And this one is up. It says round two. Make sure you hit begin encounter. <clears throat> I did it. Okay. It's going to move to here. Uh, it's going to strike. Your AC is 18. Yeah. First miss, second attack.
That's a 20. So that hits. Hmm. Hit three points. Piercing? Piercing. Ah! Clamps down on me with a maw. Feels like needles tearing at me. What are these creatures? Stuffed they look like animals. some sort of stuffing. Stuffed animals. Quiz, you're up. All right, so I do have surprise on the ones that haven't gone yet, though. Correct. So they're flat-footed to me. Got my crossbow out. Took some damage. There's a table right there on the by the alligator, right? Yep. All right, I'm gonna move and try and leap up on the table. Do a little acrobatics, I think. Yep. Give me an acrobatics roll. Yeah. Public. Ugh. Fifteen. You just barely land on the table. All right. You kind of teeter a little bit, but you're okay. Sometimes, just to break into some meta here for you, Jesse, since it's your first time, but what I'll forward to you, I don't know if you have these, there's a table that covers what's called simple DCs, and it's what you use anytime there's no level involved for the target number. Okay. And basically, it's it's just five values. There's a value for untrained, which is a DC 10. A trained, which is 15. <clears throat> uh, 20 for expert, 30 for master, and a 40 for legendary. What you do as GM is you choose which one of those is going to be applicable to the situation. They're called simple DCs. Like, what is the DC to leap up quickly on the table? Maybe that's a trained action. So it would have a DC of 15. That's all. That's exactly what I. That's exactly what I thought. That's that's perfect. That's what I would have called it as, and then you can base your, you know, critical success and failures and all that on those values. I'll forward that to you. It's a simple little table, so sure. whenever there's no level involved, that's what you use, <clears throat> like climbing a tree or something. All right. So one action to do that. Now, is it going to be a second action to do the leap, or is that going to be counted for the movement? Your choice. I'll just count his movement. Okay. You are a stealthy rogue. All right. Makes sense. I have two actions left. Crossbow is loaded. I'm going to take aim at this one right here. Okay. And take a shot. <laughs> See if I can get him. that trumpet again. The Jazzy Alleyway. 26. That is, that is a crit. Yes. Flat-footed and crit. Sneak attack. Yeah, I'll get an extra D6 added to that, which should be doubled. Uh, so let me roll D6 and double that and add it to 10. So 12 points and 10 points. 22 points of damage. You just evaporated that guy. Yeah? Just explodes into stuffing. Yeah, poof. <laughs> poof. Excellent. Uh, all right, I have one action left. I'm done? No, no, you have one more. All right, I'll load my crossbow from high ground, and I'm done. Okay. Rin, you're up. And move in. What's going on? I see Koi's firing their weapon. What's what are these noises? Head oh. stuffed creatures. <laughs> he gets to this point and she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to recall knowledge. Uh, what should I be rolling? Uh gimme an arcana. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that, because it's the same thing. Uh, that's my bardic. 
There you go. Ten. All right. From your coloring books, <laughs> these are taxidermic dogs. Ah. That explains the alligator and stuff. Taxidermy room. I've, I've never seen them move like this before. <laughs> but now that I think I know what these things are, I've got to help my teammates. And I cast Inspire Courage. With you, Akarina? Of course. Do 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 do. <laughs> It's almost uh, like a nursery rhyme, because mm -hmm. he thinks of the, all the stuffed animals in here. Just reminds reminds him of his own youth. <laughs> his grotesque <Aww>. animals. <laughs> and that is it. So he's standing back there beyond the doorway, just playing away with the uh, the ocarina. Nice, inspiring yeah. tune. <laughs> Okay. All right. Give me a number between one and six. Quiz one. Four. The text grim. Good. What's your AC? 15. Okay. Just took some damage. Three points. It's going to strike again. It hits again. For eight points. You see this little plushy stuffed animal just leap all over me. I am down. Oh. And then it turns its gaze on Rin. It's done. I am down. The sorcerer has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. It's your turn. <sighs> I just bandaged him. Uh, the three actions. I'm gonna leap off the table. You tell me if I have to make any rolls, but I'm gonna jump down the couple feet that it is three feet maybe. I don't think there's any chance of damage for that. Uh, move over to uh, him and use battle magic. Or battle medicine. Can I use battle medicine on him? For an action? Yeah, once per day. Let me see. Unless there's rules about Let me see. Being dead, it's one action to do. It can be used in combat. I'm, I have to hold my healer's tools, so I'm going to have to get that out. I'll assume it's readily available, not in my pack. I took it out earlier, I think. So I got it wrapped around my waist. I don't know how you want to see this. So move, pull out the healer's tools, one action to use battle magic on him. That'll be my turn. All right, go ahead and roll it. Medicine check. Okay. Oh. 
Uh, you have a hero or no? No, you didn't give any. I used it before. So. All right, it's my turn. Even in death, you move. You squirm all the time. I'm trying to wrap him up. Hold still. This dead body. Oh, well. Uh, one more thing. Grimner moves. His uh, initiative value needs to be changed to 28. So change his initiative to 28. My turn's done. Yep. Me next, or does something happen? Quiz, do you have one more action, or are you done? I'm done. Okay. Rin, you're up. He lets out, like, a yelp, like... <laughs> uh, reaches over, grabs Grim, and kind of drags him to his square. Okay. And closes the door. <laughs> oh, <maybe. laughs> You want him in your square? Yeah, I'd imagine he'd drag him as close as possible to get him out of the room. And he shouts, get out of there! Slam. And then slams the door. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> ah, I didn't see that. I could have done that too. Good move. Bodies pulled it away from me. <clears throat> Yoink! <laughs> they center their attention on the rogue. You're in 18. That one hit. Damage. Armor class is 18. You just took eight points of damage. I don't even know if there's an exit in that room. I can't see. We'll find out. Gonna bite at you again. Seventeen. Nope. <laughs> All right, it's done. Grim, it's your turn to try to recover. I have an eleven or greater. Nice. 14. Yeah. Stabilized. Take away your die. Wounded one. All that jazz. Yeah, and you can get rid of that inspire courage. <laughs> You're not very much inspired right now. <laughs> I'm dead. I don't, you know. I'm just inspired in death. Like, you just peer into the nether region. I'm just over cutting a groove. Follow the sound of my, <laughs> my tune. Do, 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 do. Come back to us. <coughs> but I'm dancing with dragons. It missed on its first attack. It's gonna strike again for its last action. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah, you just took 16 points of damage. What? Oh, was that critical? Yeah, it was. It got a crit. All right. Oh, it's 
it's not twice my max. So, where is it? What is my maximum hit points? <clears throat> no. Oh, 15. That, twice that would be 30. So if we got 30 plus hit points, it would have killed me outright. So. I'm not instantly dead. Oh! All you hear is growling sounds from beyond the door. My screams die away. And then there was one. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'm... Oh, you're, you're kind of hanging around. All right. At this point, I'm going to end the encounter. Um, quiz, give me a recovery check. Blind. So I'm dying two. Mm -hmm. Let me give myself dying. Make it two. So I need a 12 or greater? Yep. Nope, so I'm dying three. Oh, I think he wanted that blind, but... That's okay. Alright, at this point, out of the darkness comes another kobold. White in appearance. Female. Followed behind with a cat. She says, I was sent here by Nicknick to help you guys. Are you okay? No, great timing. Come help. There's somebody trapped in this room. Behind there's stuffed dogs. I don't think your cat's gonna like it. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Oh, I'm back here. Precious. Go in and get him. <laughs> the cat runs in. <laughs> and attacks at the dog viciously. What's happening? Cat missed on its first strike. Strikes again. Huzzah. And gets a dirty 20. Dog took us some damage. Kind of walks back a little bit. Thrown off by the creature. And then she casts Now wait a minute, she doesn't have all her spells in the last one, but all right. she's gonna cast a two action heal no three action heal gonna heal everybody <laughs> including the dogs maybe if they're undead they'll take damage Let's see what happens if they're undead I don't know what they are they have the undead so what trait. is it d8 plus 8 two actions is uh, three action three actions is yeah. d8 and 30 foot radius emanation Yeah, I give everybody healing, I guess. Yeah, it's just a D8. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> yep. Everybody gets two hit points back. So I'm awake. Yep. No longer dying. So is Grip. Yeah. We're both dying. No, he was stabilized. Yeah. He was okay. Past the recovery roll. Yeah, and now you're healed a little bit, so now you're conscious again. 
Uh, I was... I was sitting with Uncle Bob, and now back here. Go ahead and make your actions. I have one action to get up. And then I'm going to cast Acid Splash on this guy. You want to place the template? Uh, Acid Splash is just an attack. It doesn't have a template. Okay. Hmm. That'll be a 25 to hit. That is a regular hit. Now, this one takes four. The one beside it takes one. And everybody adjacent to him takes one, including me. Yep, so Precious is going to take a hit there. <laughs> ah! I scream. <laughs> Roll the other way! Roll the other way! And... Yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Let me check my immunities. None. Oh, resistance to fire. Of course. Nice. Red dragons. Okay, you have one more action. Uh, I have one action to stand up and two actions to cast a spell. I'm done. Okay, you're done. Quiz, you're up. I'm gonna stumble up. Uh, uh, for an action, gather myself. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my crossbow for another action. And I think my healer's tools are on my side, so I don't have to pick them up. I don't think. I picture them strapped around my waist. My little vials and bandage rolls and gauze. <clears throat> Probably should have stated that at the beginning, but that's where I visualize them right now. So they didn't technically drop from my hands when I died. So stand up, grab my crossbow, and then I'm going to haul Ash out of this room, not knowing what's going on. Um, I am also going to retreat I'll stand next to you I'm kind of like in the this this is where the bowl that I threw previously was <laughs> okay so I'll say it's still there I'm going to use the same bowl, covered in spores and whatnot, <laughs> um, and cast a telekinetic projectile, aiming at this one. Okay. Well, okay. Nope. Yeah, just an yes. 11. Now it broke. <laughs> Alright. Next. <laughs> Seeing this cat, this mortal enemy, I'm gonna strike at it. Mm. 
and rolls a natural 20. Not good for kitty. And with that, the cat disappears. Second action. All right, number between one and four. Grim. Three. Three. <laughs> oh, did you say Rin or Grim? Grim. Okay. <laughs> Well, we said the same number, so that's hilarious. <laughs> yep. It is. All right, so I'm gonna strike Izmi with its second attack. And hits. takes some damage. That dog is done. Their dog. Oops. All right. Quiz number between one and ten. Quiz seven. Dogs don't like this kobold that just came in. Izzy. They don't like Izzy. Izzy came in. She's not more than wounded. Strike one more time. And misses. Grim, you're up. Right. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna spend my focus spell. Good idea. <laughs> gonna use <laughs> Glutton's Jaw. Uh, I guess that's an unarmed attack. Mm -hmm. Forceful trait. And if I hit, I deal damage. Yep. Twelve. Missed. Darn it. We would have got some healing out of that, too. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to, since I was only one action. Kobolds are fun. I'm going to cast shield. And move back. And that's going to be it for me. Please, you're up. While they're distracted, let us make an escape. Let them chew on Isni here, the white one, the new one. I don't know him. Run up and shut the door. I'm gonna. Yeah, I see what's going on here. I'm I'm pretty bad shape. 
wounded too, but what I am going to do is I'm going to run up to the door and I'm just going to pull it shut if that's possible. Yep. And if it makes sense, I'll lean my back against the door and just slide down on my butt. <clears throat> Bolting the door shut? Yeah, unless they open the other way. That's what I mean by if it makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll look exhausted. <clears throat> and one, two, I got one more action. Can I use battle medicine on myself since we're still in combat? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wrap my wounds as I lean against the door. So I'll make a check here. Public. <clears throat> yes. So 2d8. 2d8. That'll take away my wounded condition. Wounded 2. So plus 8. <sighs> Alright, so I'm done with battle medicine for the day on me. Rin, you're up. I will grab this crate and drag it in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's pretty heavy. Yes. <laughs> but you get it. You get it over there. All right, the door is Excellent. blocked. <laughs> I'm going to end the encounter. You can hear scratching <laughs> on the other side of the box, and it's shaking, oh, the and then it goes quiet. And in the distance, you hear, "Why did you run? Aren't you here?" <laughs> no. And that's coming from the other side of the door. Yep. That voice again. I heard it this time. Your new friend. I'm Izni, and I just sacrificed my dragon to save you guys. Can I get some healing? I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Ren gets their tools back out. Kind of one eye open, the other one squinting. You know, oh, I hope I get this right. Much better. 21. 28. Twelve. Nice. Thank you. I think I'm that'll do just nicely. Thank you. Green one. Yes, you can call me Rin. Thanks, Rin. I need me. I'm Gremner. And I totally have a dragon. I Watch don't this. think I saw a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna heal her precious. We'll just say it brings her back to life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go over to Grimner and I'll pull out my healer's tools after ten minutes. Uh, well. <laughs> I'll try and heal Grim Grimner with the treat wounds if he'll have me. That's fine. As you sort of walk over, she's going to apologize for hitting you with the acid spray. Yeah, whatever. Now hold still. 
Rin apologizes for locking you in the room or closing the door on you. Yeah, yeah. I thought you'd just jump on the table and be safe. <laughs> 14. Damn it. Not enough. Boy, one point under. Hero points. <clears throat> All right, I'll give you I'll give you all one hero point. I okay. try to heal it. Feel very heroic after saving Grim. All right, with that hero point, can I use it right now to make another reroll for this healing roll? Go ahead. Okay, okay. We'll try one more time. There goes my hero point. Eighteen. I got it. So your wounded condition is gone. Grimner. That was the main okay. reason. You're good. Um, I'm going to also... Uh, I'm sitting on the crate that's blocking the door, and I'm going to tend to my own wounds as well. Six points, Grim. Thank you. Thank you. And my hero point is gone. Alright, so I got a 16... So that's good. All right, I'll also take that. Ah, just what we needed, a break. Yeah. You guys need that one. Now, what are we going to do about the stuffed what's-its in the other room? Stuffed dogs. Stuffed puppies? Sure. <laughs> we go back in and kill them. <laughs> he walks Are up to prepared? the door and opens it and enters. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, she will actually walk up to the crate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll pull her. Hold on, hold on. Always squirming around doing things. We need to think. We need to think first. There's voices in that room. Something wants to play. There's also those dogs, whatever that is. Maybe we should be a little more cautious and look around. There's still rooms here. Maybe we could find some clues. Treasures. Shamies. Maybe shamies. I say we keep the box in front of the door and look around more. In this big chamber. There's got to be something. Let me see. Did we look at this whole room? What did we miss? Wow. There actually isn't anything else. There is a door to the north. Oh. Yeah. I, I got a sneak peek of that, but... <laughs> You looked Everyone in there? Everyone wanted to go south. Yeah, because my character accidentally got flung into that room when we were moving me over. <laughs> I say we go up there and take a look. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right. I'll move let's... up to the door. Me too. I'll check it out You're for any kind the party of... again? I'm next to Grimner. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Just suck me in there, guys. Like, suck That's me in I'm there. That's what I'm saying. That room, it's... The vortex. That damn piranha just got a hold of me. That's what happened. I'm going to check the door for any kind of traps or anything unusual. Obvious things. And is there uh, a lock on it? Before Rin goes up to the north door, he grabs a smaller box and puts it on top of the crate. You know, just, just for good measure. <laughs> and then meets everybody at the north. I'm going to take a the listen for any noises or sounds inside. Hey, give me a blind perception. There's nothing. Perception roll? Hmm? Blind. Cool. 
quiz, you hear what sounds like scratching. More creatures beyond. Rin, what are you doing? Rin? Um, I caught up to the group. Okay. Yeah. He's just waiting for everybody. Uh, it's a little crowded by the door. Okay, quickly, quickly. What do you want to do? I will unlock. I will open the door if it's not locked and proceed inside. Alright, it opens. Alright. This cluttered chamber contains a towering table covered in crafter's tools and surrounded by bundled supplies. Johnny! Doesn't seem to be anything in here except for... Lots of stuff lying around. I'm gonna search the table. Looks I'll like I'll search these other boxes over here. Alright, both of you is give me perception checks. Blind. Rin, watch the door. Does tricks. All right. Without too much of ser time searching, you guys do find some interesting things. You find one light hammer, a hatchet, five backpacks, five, four bed rolls, two fishing tackles. Artisan tools, a hundred feet of rope, and a repair kit. This stash is made just for us. Maybe we should use this as like a little place of refuge. There's lots of supplies here. Yes, and it's safe. Is there any fungus in the room? Yep. Yeah. Just where you see it. So we've got some supplies for probably more on this expedition. We got rope, backpacks. What's in the backpacks? Anything? Or are they just empty? Just <coughs> empty backpacks. Yeah, we already got backpacks, I think. And some weapon. Yeah. Yep. We got a light hammer and a hatchet. Yeah. My weapon says meat tenderizer. I thought it was a gavel. Well, it's like a gavel. Counts as a meat tenderizer? Light yep. mm -hmm. okay. Multi-purpose. <laughs> yeah. You can well, administer justice and tenderize your steak all in the same setting. I think somebody might want to take the rope. I, yeah, I got a rope. Let's see what I've got here. I'm good with all everything I need, but these are like spares. It's 50 feet of rope? Yeah. 100. 100. 100 feet of rope. All right, I'll take the 100 feet of rope. Uh, 
I don't know how to drag it to your sheet. I got it. Little... Got it. Okay. Yeah, it just starts the item directory. If you want anything, Ren. Mm, no. Uh, do is there any activity outside the room? Because Rin's on watch. Well, give me a blind perception. As far as you're concerned, you could take a nap here. Well, I'm going to bend down and pet that cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to motion, motion to the light hammer and the hatchet, asking if Igni wanted one of them. Sure, I'll take one. Thanks. Hey. Got a hatchet and a mace. <laughs> All right, guys. Would you like to? Well, like I said, this make a good little base of operations. Uh, we got plenty of supplies, so we could leave some stuff here too. We Remember to... what Micnick said. Everything you can carry is yours. Yeah, well, we can come back for this. There's no treasure. Uh, I'll go to the couch and look underneath it. Anything under there? Whoops. This room is glitchy. No, there's nothing under it. Okay. Well, then it looks like we have to head south. I'll give his need the light hammer, and I'll take the hatchet. You say head back south? Gonna give those guys a round, too? Well, if we hit him now and soon, they're still gonna be wounded and injured. Hmm. Yes. No better time to strike. Don't want to wait too long. So that's my idea. Now it's 1021 whenever you want to call the sessions, Jesse. Because I know Rachel. I don't yeah, know how long I was just around. about to say I got to get off soon. Okay. So if you well, want to. If you guys want to hold up in this room and uh, we'll pick it up when we pick it up. Yeah. yeah, I'm good with that. Shuffle back on into the room. Back we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Shut the door. <laughs> it was like four mouse clicks that went through that door at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll set up in here. And I think it's too soon to probably sleep, but. Yeah, we'll organize ourselves, talk to Isney, see what's up, what information he's got, and how the heck did he get here? And, yeah, how did he get here? He said you were sent to help us, but the, from what I heard from the shadows, so she... from what I heard from the shadows, <laughs> it was all boarded up. How'd you get here? She says, Mick sent me down here. He said he heard noises of screams and and battle and it, it didn't sound good so that would be grimnar he sent me and my dragon here to help you was not screaming it was <laughs> that one funny exclusively at you rachel that karate move there oh that's what it was yeah <laughs> learning everyone to with <laughs> Alright, yeah. right, we will end it here. What is this? Oh, new well. And if you guys want to give your outros, Rachel, you can go first. Uh, sure. Druid. Oh. That's a very quiet outro. 
It is. I'm so dead. <laughs> um, plus, I wasn't sure if uh, Fritz was going to say anything because you were looking at something. Uh, so, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, so interesting. Um, uh, one shot so far. Uh, definitely like where it's going. Uh, it's fun playing a kobold. Uh, that's for sure. And, you know, I kind of really like playing, you know, the same race as everybody. Because <laughs> then you get to see the different ways that everybody plays it. Um, I also liked uh, your GM style. Things went smoothly, at least from our side of things. It, it felt like it did. I know sometimes when you're a GM, you're like, this isn't smooth. This is so bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> don't go in that room yet no what are you doing <laughs> uh, but you just... <laughs> all right uh have a good night everybody thanks rachel Bye. Bye. take care rachel all right, thanks again. go ahead Good night, my friends from this side of the seat i'm once again prepped up and ready it was that a fantastic adventure i'm quite liking this sorcerer might change out her spells and go again Next possible chance I get. Ash and Splash is good, but we gotta have some produced flame. We're fighting stuffed animals now. Gots to have the flames in it. But yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of good stuff there. Really, really felt like we were small people fighting small things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, right, really thanks, good God. there. Thank you. Alright, Fritz. It was good. I enjoyed it. I'm getting into the kobolds. They're actually quite fun to play. Different uh, little special abilities, dragon colors like red. You know, I'm I've got a connection to red dragons. That's cool. So I got resistance to. I think fire makes sense. Fire, yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And uh, trying to get in the head of the kobolds' mindset is a little tricky. I need to work on that. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. And you did a good job, Jesse. Up on the rules. And just really running the foundry thing. End of things. Excellent. It was good. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I had fun, too. I forgot what it's like to be a GM. Um, it's fun on this side of the screen as well. And... Uh, all right, just, As always, to arms, my friends. All right, I'll take us out here. Uh, folks, that's our session. We're going to be back. We got at least one more episode of this, possibly two more. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We got to go into that chamber in the south and see what's going on. We'll see what happens with that. It was a great session. I really had a good, lot of good fun. I'm enjoying being a player for once. It's different. It's new for me because I'm the eternal GM. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really digging it. So stay tuned, folks. We'll have part two to this coming up soon. And I think next up will be some more Abomination Vaults. And then we've got Kyle's campaign, The Wild Beyond, coming up as well. And, yeah, so stay tuned, folks. And we'll see you all next time. Folks, you guys hang in there, and you know why. It's only going to get better. Till next time, toodaloos.